Holy shit! It's Christmas! Well, not exactly Christmas, but you get the idea. I, for one, love Christmas. There's always a ton of festive-themed things that happen every year. You know, you put up the Christmas tree, make a gingerbread house, uh, play Smith Smith maps, which don't exist. Scratch that, actually. But something you don't see every year is a Christmas-themed cave story mod. This is Christmas Story 2015 by Super Jaws 100. Quote and Curly accidentally knocked out Santa Claus and possibly set him on fire a bit, and now Quote has to deliver presents to everyone on the island. But does a certain best friend of Quotes have something else to say about it? Find out in Christmas Story! Before we get started, I should mention, the way I used to do these mod reviews, I'm really not a fan of. You know, I was like 14, 15, 16 years old at that point, and I was making fun of people younger than me who just wanted to have fun making a cave story mod. And really, that's all that it should be about. But my behavior was actively discouraging that, and I regret it immensely. So the mod we're taking a look at today is from several years ago, and the person who made it has moved on and has agreed to let me play it. Just let it be known that this is old and not representative of Super Jaws' current work. Alright, I've downloaded the game, here's what the structure looks like. Uh, although, admittedly, it didn't look like this. When I got to it, I added the widescreen hack, you know, and all that stuff. Just for a more pleasant viewing experience, trademark. Let's take a look at the settings. Windowed. And no window direct. Let's take a look at the readme. Christmas story. Super Jaws 100, December 2015. Quote and Curly accidentally knocked Santa Claus unconscious, and now Quote needs to bring his remaining presents to the inhabitants of the island. Can he deliver them all before Christmas morning? Secrets lie around every corner, so watch out, or you might just stumble upon something you were never meant to find. Attention, this mod may or may not contain references to... Undertale. Alright. Here we go. Oh, look. Oh, it's a uh, clip art Christmas trees and Professor Booster Santa. Here it is. Christmas story! Twas the night before Christmas and all through the house. Not a creature was stirring, not even a... Robot? Well, looks like it's time for bed, quote. I can't wait until tomorrow. I don't remember many of my past Christmas days. Amnesia, you might say. But tomorrow should be great! Good night. Did you hear that? It sounds like someone's trying to break in. I'll go investigate, you go grab the weapons. Oh shit. I think I know what's happening here. I can't seem to find anyone, but I know I heard something. There it is again! It sounds like it's coming from inside the chimney. Let's light the fireplace. That'll teach him a lesson. There, that should settle it. You hear a voice from inside the chimney. Ho ho, oh no! Aha! Now we've... Quote, you're seeing this too, right? That's Santa Claus! And we just knocked him out! What have we done? We have to fix this. It looks like the only presents he has left are to people on the island. I know what we have to do. I'll stay here and take care of him. You need to go and save Christmas. Here, take his bag. Okay. It has been ages since I've been able to play Cave Story. Holy shit. This feels really good. The level design, actually, not that bad, honestly. So far, I think this is pretty okay. I mean, like, it's not like I could do any better, honestly. Warning, bridge collapse. I see. I need to get that health kit. This isn't TF2, what am I talking about? That, <laughs> that was scary. Uh. Okay. See, I'm a little rusty. You, you gotta, you gotta give me that one. What's over here? Balrog's house. He doesn't live in the main house because he needs somewhere sturdier to live. It's best not to wake him up. Okay. You know, just a little fun Christmas game. You know, not much more. And that's honestly cool. I like that stuff. I didn't point this out yet, but the Beatles hopping. I don't think that's quite right. Welcome to the town of Gaster. Be sure to visit Wingding Inn and enjoy your stay. Okay. Undertale again. Door is locked. There's a save point. Or it's the Wingding Inn. Howdy, I'm Chaba. I think we may have met before. 
That's right in the labyrinth all that time ago. Well, it's good to see you again, Mr. Quote. Well, Mr. Quote, I owe you a lot of thanks. After you defeated that doctor fellow, Misery allowed the Gaudi to leave the labyrinth. If it weren't for you, I'd still be stuck in that musty labyrinth. You can stay at my inn anytime you want, free of charge. Just pick a bed. Business has been slow lately, so they're all available. All two of them. The door's locked. The door's locked. God damn it, why are you gonna put that there if there's not, like, stuff to explore? It doesn't even have to be anything of substance. Just put something there. Oh God, I hate how the hearts are so high up. I see a fork in the road. I'm gonna go upper. Oh! Oh, fuck, we're fighting Omega. That's pretty cool. You know, the snow reskin, I like that. Omega's a fun boss fight, because you just spam fireballs till you win. There we go. I like the Christmas music too, by the way. Wedge of Cheese did a good job. Oh, this is frightening. It's kind of bizarre to think that they didn't use the little frog enemy anywhere outside of the Balfrog fight. Oh, I made it. It's a computer. There's something sticking out of one of these boxes. Missile launcher. All right. Cool. Apologies for the two moons in the background, by the way. That's no fault of the mod creator. That's just the widescreen hack. What's this? Balcony house. Ah, okay. Sometimes one of the Sakamoto's toes. Oh, hello. You must be one of those robots that saved the island. We've been hoping you'd show up to our Christmas party. We didn't really know how to send you an invitation, but we hoped you would come anyway. Where's that female friend of yours? Anyway, there's something special wrapped up under the tree for you. <gasps> they got me a present. What is it? Oh, fuck yeah! Got the booster! Oh, and it equips automatically? That's awesome. Does it work in the inventory? Not quite, but having it equipped automatically. Very good. I like that. Oh, I gotta go back to the plantation. Okay, it's not the balcony. So, I do need to go through Last Cave. I like this- this new design is interesting. Now, I gotta say beforehand that I didn't play uh, Last Cave with the booster 0 0.8, so I don't know if this is, like, how it was originally. But if not, very cool. I like to see, like, the gradual wear on certain areas. Kind of like how in uh, Pokemon Gold and Silver you could go back to Kanto, but it was different. What is this? That's a little strange how this isn't water. Hmm. Oh, fuck! I... D okay. I, I was not ready for that. I'm used to having the spur for this fight. It's not that hard. There we go. Defeated the snow golem. Dude, Minecraft. Made it to the plantation. Alright, let's deliver these fucking presents. Ah, you're the one that came here all that time ago. I knew you weren't a Mimica all along, of course. You can't fool these wizened eyes. I guess I was right about some of those robots, eh? Some of you do have souls. Alright, I need to deliver presents. Oh, I get it. They're sleeping. So I gotta, I gotta be sneaky and deliver secretly. Haha, -ha, I get it. Nice. Oh shit! Wait, what's up here? Nothing. Why is that there then? Ah, oh, damn. Can't go down there. Oh shit! They fixed the bridge. Okay, made it to the teleporter. Arthur's house. Okay, cool. Deliver presents. It's been a while. I I think you should use the text box that doesn't obscure who I'm talking to. A lot has changed since you were last here. Some of the Mimiga moved to the balcony, and a museum opened up in the village. It stands as a monument to everything that happened. It seems life has settled down for most people, but not for all of us. I still have trouble sleeping at night. I have nightmares. I've had many sleepless nights. It's not so bad, though. I've been getting into engineering lately. It allowed me to make this. You can have it. Cool! Oh, and you don't need to worry about me. I'll be fine. You came with presents for me and Mahin? That was nice of you. I'll probably give mine to Mr. Koron, the Mimiga upstairs. Poor guy lost his whole family to the red flowers. You can just leave Mahin's presents under my tree. He's staying with me for a while before he moves to the surface. Right now he's in some city trying to find a job in an apartment. Everything that happened really snapped him out of his lazy attitude. Anyway, thanks for coming, but you should probably get going. I didn't come here to cry. I, I went into this expecting, you know, I don't know what I was expecting, honestly, but this is a lot better. This is Undertale music. Oh, it's not just Undertale music, it's remixed with Mimiga Village. That's really cool. The terminal appears to display a long article of information about the War of the Red Flowers. 
Yeah, <laughs> that's what I was expecting. Right now, I'm thinking this is less of a modding shitstorm and more of a modding, I would actually recommend this storm. Is that the first time I've said the name of this series? I don't know who keeps putting life capsules down there. After everything that happened, I feel silly for what I said about those red flowers. I, honest I honestly thought that said shitty for a second. And the flowers are such great listeners. More Undertale. I honestly regret missing out on this mod for all these years. Because back in 2015 when this came out, I was intending to play it for an episode. I remember, that's the year I got uh, my blue snowball. And I was gonna record a video on it. But, <laughs> I was having too much fun with it, you know? Like, I, I just couldn't do it. Well, that, but also I needed to learn how to filter out my keyboard noise. Okay, more presents delivered. Gotta go to the sand zone. But I gotta figure out how to get there, so I assume I am taking a short detour through here. Fine by me. I know this mod is just cave story, but different. And a lot of mods are like that. You know, it's boring, same old, whatever. But honestly, I'm having fun with it. I haven't played Cave Story in a while, so I'm not bothered by it. But if you've been playing Cave Story every day for the past, like, 200 million years straight, I don't know. Still a nice Christmas distraction in my opinion, though. Chaco is on the naughty list. I wonder why that is. Fuck. Also gonna be honest, I've never actually used the snake in a playthrough of Cave Story before, so I am learning a lot about the spread pattern. Yo, it's Malco. Welcome back. I haven't seen you in a while. How have you been? Hmm, you need to get to the sand zone. Well, I'd love to help you, but I'm in a bit of a predicament. You see, there's a teleporter station to the east of here that could take you there, but it's currently out of power. I may have altered the power station a little bit. It runs on eggnog now. <laughs> the jellies tend to hoard precious liquids. Maybe you can get some eggnog from the big one in the west end. All right, guess I'm going back. I know it's also really easy to make these tile sets. You know, just change it to white. It's frost covered, it's snowy, but that's still, I like it. Shut up. Almost forgot about this one. And do the usual strat. Now. Oh, that's not what I meant to do, but it worked. Holiday eggnog. A delicious drink that may or may not be appropriate for children. Oh, it's that kind of eggnog. You found the eggnog. That's fantastic. I'll put it in the machine right now. Good, you should now be able to teleport to the sand zone from the station in the east. Good luck. Here we go. Oh, shit. Well, this building went to, well that. The teleporter has power now. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, fuck! Oh my god, I'm not fast enough. I, I'm- again, I'm used to having the spur. Ow, fuck, that does a lot of damage. Oh god. No! Fuck! Spoke too soon. I don't think I saved either. Yeah, I don't think I saved. This time, I've saved. Let's try that again. I'm not gonna cheat. This is a Christmas game, you can't cheat. There we go. Not very snowy here. Well, I guess that makes sense. <sighs> Tried to thread the needle, couldn't quite do it. This is a lot longer of a mod than I was expecting it to be. I mean, I was thinking it'd be like, you know, 10 or 20 minutes, be over and done with. Just deliver a couple gifts. It's cool. See all your friends again. But what it has been so far is, uh, go through, like, everywhere in Cave Story again. If this weren't Christmas-themed, then it would probably be a very different story. I have seen very few Christmas mods in my day, and I'm glad that one of the few that we do have is good. I'm a little disappointed with this area, though. Like, absolutely nothing is retextured or changed at all. I already fought Omega, too, so, like, what is there going to be in the next area? Oh, this is different. Oh, I guess I'm going right to the warehouse, then. That's pretty cool. Oh, there's another path down here. Okay. Oh! Oh, shit! Okay. All right, mini boss. This is an interesting arena to have a fight. I can't see. Surprise skeleton. It definitely was. Oh, my God. God, fucking I am out of my element. Over into this area now, I see. I like the little journey I had to take to get around. Very creative. Let's go to Jenka's house. Oh, it's you. 
Well, you defeated the doctor, and much to my surprise, my brother as well. Perhaps wherever he is now, he's found peace. Okay. Presents. So you brought presents for me and my darling puppies. They're sure to love you even more than before now. My half-wit of a daughter? Why would you want to visit her? After everything she's done, you're willing to forgive? Well, suit yourself. She tore down the storehouse to make a place to live. Personally, I think she's too close to me for comfort. She keeps a force field up around the place, but I can take it down for you. Oh shit. That was cool. Merry Christmas. Nice! The fact that I have the booster 0 0.8 makes this area a lot less challenging. You know what? I need to go into that house up here because they probably changed something, right? Oh, it is entirely different. Oh? What? Hey, Sans! Do we get to be in the mod now? Not yet, bro. This isn't our time. Do we get to be in this mod at all? I don't think so. But don't get mod at me. Sans, that was pathetic! Don't worry, we'll get our time to shine in the upcoming Undertale X Cave Story mod. Good! And when we do, I'll cook spaghetti for all of the Mimiga. I'm sure it will be furry good pasta. What does that mean?! You put down the artifact. Well, advertising one mod in another, I guess that's new. Not the way I would have gone about it. Normally I'd use the bubbler here, but the snake is pretty good at doing a similar thing. Alright, looks like I've made it to misery. First I'm gonna heal up, not really, and save. Alright, let's go. Did my mother send you? I bet she sent you to mock me further for my mistakes. I know I'm a terrible person, I know I made bad choices. I don't need some old hag berating me even more for it. Is it so hard for people to forgive? Well, I can't take it anymore. Prepare yourself! Well, there it is. Polar Star Misery fight time. That's not right. I think they should have tweaked the tile sets a little bit. Got him. Well, I guess that's it. You've proven that not only am I a vile person, I'm also weak. I suppose my mother named me well. <laughs> Present? That's why you came here? To give me a gift? Nobody's ever done something like that for me. I... thank you. I'm sorry I acted so... rude there. This means a lot to me. Maybe, just maybe, this will help me start on the road to forgiveness. Farewell and Merry Christmas. The curse on the sunstones has been lifted. Stay calm, stay calm, stay calm! Fuck! Does Jenka have anything new to say? Good luck with my dot. No. This is what flags are for, ladies and gentlemen. Computer reads, connected to surface. Oh, fuck. Looks like we're going to the surface. Snowy Road B2. Wait a minute, I was at the surface. Interesting. I don't remember this area very much, though. <laughs> I'm good at play video games. Okay, now I got like a shitload of weapons and stuff, so it's not even a challenge. I have a feeling something was supposed to happen here. This is the lower part, okay. So that's the path I could have taken. That's a lot of enemies spawning in. I did not realize beforehand. Still the jumping beetles. I'm a, what you would call a gamer god. But the children! Don't worry, Mr. Claus, my friend has got everything under control. Speaking of my friend, here he is, and he delivered all the presents. Oh, thank God. You've simultaneously ruined and saved Christmas. Now, if you please, I'd like my bag back. Now, I'll just be on my way. Thank you both. Oh, and by the way, you're both on the naughty list for all eternity. Merry Christmas. Oh, well. At least we saved Christmas. You did a great job, quote. But I'm tired now. Let's go to bed. And they heard him exclaim as he rode out of sight. Merry Christmas to all. And to all, I can't believe he released another modding shitstorm episode. Come out and play, quote. <laughs> Thank you for playing Christmas Story. I hope you enjoyed the mod. I procrastinated a little too much and there was a little less content than I wanted, but I hope you en enjoyed it anyway. Special thanks goes to Wedge of Cheese for the music, Gurek Chaser for one of the orgs. Merry Christmas. Well, overall, I'd say that was quite pleasant, actually. Okay, so I've played the mod, and, uh, I gotta say, wasn't bad. 
If you need, like, a little distraction, you want to play something Christmassy, you like Cave Story and maybe you haven't played it in a little while, I guess I would recommend it. There are a couple weird things, like the shoehorned Undertale stuff is honestly completely 100% unnecessary. Probably shouldn't have been in there at all, honestly. But, you know, other than that, uh, yeah, this was pretty good. I would recommend it. Oh, also, that, uh, that reference at the end, they said, uh, come out and play, quote, that, that one character, th they said it. The Offspring? Yeah, that was a great reference. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's it. Hope y'all have a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, whatever you celebrate, and, uh, see you next time.